Hey animal enthusiasts and pet hobbyists, Sister Wow here, and today we're going to be going over the reproduction of the southern alligator lizard. Let's get into it. So this is my male and female southern alligator lizards, Mr. and Mrs. Cuddles, left is the male and right is the female, which I house in a 20 long tank. These guys have been found to mate in the spring as early as February and as late as June. During this time, the males look for females, and once found, the male will bite into the female's head or neck and insert one of his hemipenes to fertilize her. He can hold on to her for up to two days. A few months later, usually during the summertime, she will then lay her eggs. Miss Cuddles happened to lay them on June 20th of 2022. This was recorded during the summer, but I unfortunately did not have enough time to finish producing a video, which is why I'm uploading so late. Here, Mrs. Cuddles is burrowing her eggs in a mix of leaf litter and eco-earth. They can lay up to 20 eggs, but Mrs. Cuddles only had 8. I removed two of the 8 eggs into containers containing New Zealand sphagnum moss to see if the substrates would make a difference in viability. I placed them on the same site that I found them in to prevent movement of the embryo. Sphagnum moss has a low pH which creates environments with more acidity to prevent mold and bacteria buildup. Miss Cuddles guarded her eggs until they hatched while I monitored her and made sure the environment for the eggs didn't dry up. The incubation temperature stayed between 80 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit in the enclosure. Over time, it was evident which eggs would become slugs as they began to turn yellow and grow fungus. 48 days after oviposition, one of the eggs in the container began to turn a darker shade of gray and the shell appeared to soften up. After pairing through the egg with the light, you could see tiny movements coming from inside. Fifty days after Avi position, I found the first egg had hatched, but there was no movement or breathing from the baby. I thought with a bit of assistance, the lizard might survive. However, it remained in this position, and the first baby was unfortunately lost. The second baby began to hatch on the 51st day, but thankfully this one was moving and breathing. The same day, the others in the mother's nest hatched as well and I quickly removed them to avoid them from being eaten by mystery cuddles. The babies have a plain tan and light brown coloration that will eventually darken as they age. They are also a few inches long as you can see in comparison with my hand. There were a total of 5 baby southern alligator lizards that I placed in a smaller tray type enclosure with Eagle Earth and set it up with juvenile safe decorations that would resemble their natural habitat. I also gave them a few fruit flies to see if they would eat, however they appeared to not even notice them since they were most likely too small. I continued to monitor them to make sure they had their natural behaviors and were healthy. Then I eventually tried a larger food such as baby crickets which they were able to eat. After about a week of monitoring them, I felt they were ready to be released into the wild. These babies were born from a wild-caught alligator lizard, so it would only be natural to release the offspring to continue the gene pool and maintain the natural lizard population. Lizards are important in ecosystems because they aid in controlling insect populations and are a food source for natural predators such as birds. However, recently I have noticed that there aren't many alligator lizards in my neighborhood due to neighbors allowing their domestic cats to be outside. I want to make it clear that this species of alligator lizard is native to my neighborhood, and you should never release non-native species into the environment as they can become invasive. I placed the babies in an area with lots of shade and hiding places, and where I've seen baby alligator lizards in previous years. Considering 5 out of the 8 eggs hatched and were able to survive, I would say this was a successful clutch, and hopefully one day these little guys will reach adulthood so that they may continue the southern alligator lizard population and have offspring of their own. So yeah guys, if you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and if you want to see more videos like this with Mr. and Mrs. Cuddles, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.